Hello Zebaherd, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today, we are continuing the story mode after defeating DJ Octavio in the crater. We have crash landed somewhere entirely new. I'm not really quite sure where we are, but there are some people over there. Hello? Hello? Hey! Hey, look who it is! Agent 3, over here! It's Callie Marie and someone else. Woo, I'm so glad you're all right. You are Agent 3, right? Cram's fully enlisted you in your small fry? Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Hey, I'm Agent 2. Come on, Agent 2, get plumped. Anyway, our one last crew member to introduce, this is our captain. Hi, Captain. So this is not Captain Cuttlefish. We're the new new Squid Beak Splatoon. Poor Captain Cuttlefish, he got bumped out. <clears throat> anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge, and it's filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff. And now we have to find Gramps before he like, tastes it or something. Aw, oh, you make it sound like it's not gonna be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh. Oh, they're in. Probably just too excited looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. So, Gramps reeled, reeled in a new Agent 3. Glad to have you. <laughs> I love how chill the captain is. We've never been here before, but there's the tour anyway. We think this place is called Alterna. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time? Whoa, look at this place. We count six different islands so far. What would we call them? Sites or something? Uh, are you even gonna mention the humongous rocket over there? Look at that. Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does, but now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent three, your mission is to check all three of those places out. We upgraded your map a little bit. Tell us how much you love it. Whoa. Now it tracks the places you've already visited and lights up when you're near anything interesting. Like when I'm nearby or buried treasure, I guess. I'm sure both. We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure. And I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker. Anyway, wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Yikes, your hero suit is all messed up too. Oh wow, a hero gear, and shambles. Oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation would help. First, they'll need Sardinium to unlock access to different types of upgrades. Interesting. So they're not metal minnows anymore. Uh, then they can spend upgrade points to do the actual upgrading. There's gotta be some Sardinium around down here in Alterna, right? If anyone can find it, it's Agent 3. Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame because it seems like we might need some rocket science. Okay, so never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong Grams-like signal from the site or the next site over. Go check it out. It looks like we might have to get to the first one first, but here we are, Future Utopia Island. Whoa, and are these screens? Yeah, there's a screen. So deep underground, they try to make it look like we're not. Squid Sisters Camp, hi guys. I'm not sure what to make of it, but the captain says you're always you, no matter what you look like. Quick update, I just overheard the captain say, wow, there's a lot going on in the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Don't be shy with your ink, spot everywhere. Fill up with your gauge and do something. Uh, cool, so I'm here if you wanna talk about anything with someone who's barely paying attention. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So we'll have to explore this Utopia Island. I can, of course, ink things up and take a look around. I don't know if there's anything to find around here right away, or if we really just should just focus on the main mission. But I think as we're covering things up, we're, yeah, we're earning more on the right there, it seems, so that's pretty cool. Um, Because as you can see, I don't have enough to do anything. I'm too low on eggs, so maybe, uh, I think Small Fry's trying to tell you something. Where's Small Fry? Uh, I don't know. Over here? Oh, I see you up there, but I can't reach you. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I can't really do much here. But what is this about? Whoa, here we go. There he is, hey buddy. I can't really get to him. Okay, I'm just gonna send him over that way. But you can see all the different levels we need to get to here on the first island. So let's get cracking with it. Uh, what do we got over here? Yes, let's go. This is gonna be the first level. Get to know Alterna, your only choice. Whoa. So this is all of our turn right here, all these different islands we could explore and stuff. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I love the new logo for Splatoon 3 there on the bottom corner too. Do you hear something? Activated. System check, okay. Authentication, all systems nominal. Commencing biometric scan. Who is that? Scan complete, no matches found. Commencing registration sequence. Bzz, bzz, beep, beep. Good day, my name is Orca. I'm what you might call a navigation system for Alterna citizens. Whoa, where's that voice coming from? Welcome to Alterna, citizen. Please enter your identification to proceed. Ugh, it's like setting up a phone for the first time. I guess just follow the instructions, Agent 3. Processing, 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 ding. Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Cool, looks like it's official, Agent 3. My circuits are designed to measure your intellectual and physical prowess as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Eterna. In each mission, you must reach a goal mechanism or complete an objective. Extraordinary citizens will complete many missions and receive many power eggs. You can expect a substantial power egg payday in particular for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in success, citizen. Is all that going to be on the test? Because I, all I heard, really heard was power eggs. That seems like the important part. We'll need plenty of those if we're going to find Gramps. The last thing. As you complete missions and become an ever more exceptional citizen, you will naturally gain access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle the information with care, and please consider this a threat. Have a nice day. That's sort of ominous. Alterna Log, huh? Well, something's been added to your menu. I want to peek. Ah, uh, but I won't. I guess all we can do for now is collect power eggs and work on removing that fuzzy ooze. I mean, all you can do, Agent 3. Equipment initializing. Please select a weapon for this mission. Ooh, here we go. So we have two ones, two weapons we can choose from. A loadout selected from your hero gear. Uh, use left and right to check each weapon description. Um, per se to select a weapon. So I have this one, but oh, I guess that's all I have. Okay, I thought I could switch between those two things, but no, that's just the one. Uh, the mission will begin as soon as you pass through the game. If power eggs are required, you'll be given an opportunity to make your payment before entering. Initializ initialization complete. Data harvesting and analysis commencing. Best of luck, Agent 3. So that's it then? Great. Come on, Agent 3, let's get moving. I have a bad feeling about Orca. The fact that they're watching our every move and that the information we see receive is supposed to be kept. Oh no, Fee! Whoa, whoa, here we go. Show off your skills and reach the goal. All right, Eterna. Press the R to shoot and ride the rail, I'm on it. This is gonna be fun, I can't wait to just get into some Splatoon action here. Press B to jump while you're riding around, just like that, but I jumped a little too soon. Wait, 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 can I try again? Um, Because I need these, oh, I don't think I can. <laughs> wait, okay, whatever, we'll keep moving. <laughs> I spy three bolts and I guess a key to get somewhere. But as we're covering more things up, we are gaining rank over there to the right, I keep noticing that, so that's good. Well, this place is a lot of stuff going on. I do notice that too. Don't sweat it, Agent 3, you got ink and a small fry. So just start inking everything we can. There we go, Wee! Very cool, see I'm very focused on just sort of exploring around. Oh, we got these guys again. Um, That busy little puck thing is a squeegee. They wash up ink, any ink they find, as you can see. Uh, that's not so good. So we'll just not worry about it for right now. There's lots of other things to mess around with and mechanics to figure out. A lot of these are carryovers from the previous Splatoon games, so hopefully we're not too far out of our league with this. But I do see a crate over here that maybe I can get small for to bust open. Um, not quite, not quite. Let's try again. Come on. Got it, maybe? There we go, much better, much better. We'll fill up on ink while we're waiting for that. But there we go, we get five more power eggs. I'll try to remember what they're called this time, because oh my gosh, I feel like I forget so often. Um, what's going on up here? We get a checkpoint and the key. Very cool. That's the first key, keep going. All right then, so we're gonna hop back down this way. Dude, this area is so open, it feels like there's a lot to get to. But over here I did miss something. There's one of these little pumps. Break that open and fly up it, whoa. 
but I can click it over here. I'm gonna have to use small fry. It doesn't look like a simple jump will get you there. I agree. So small fry is a good thing to keep in mind for sure. Oh, here's the fan as well. Is there anything down there? Just a balloon with a couple more power eggs. And where does this get me? Right over here. Ah, I love the feeling of the wind in my tentacles. Uh, two down, just one more to go. So back down here for me. And there's a few more things to check out, right? First off, can't access that just yet. That's where I need um, another key. So we're gonna hop up here. Whoa, but nicely found a bounce pad. Full beat about super high for uh, tactical purposes, obviously. There we go. We get a bunch of power from that one. Oh man. Now, what is this thing? Whoa, it like rolls out. Oh, that's so interesting. It's like a sprinkler, but automatic. I don't know. Okay, so let's get these two. Oh, and I think I need to call. I don't know where he went. Uh, either way, doesn't matter too much. We need to jump through these. I've jumped through them backwards, but if it works, it works. Oh, no, I can see him now. Our, our small fry's on our back. That's so cute. I love our small fry. Okay, and then up here, we have a can. Open it up and unleash what's inside, a trizooka. Press R to get it ready, and then press the R to splat. Whoa, well this might be new. Oh my gosh, there we go, big power. I like it, so let's go ahead and splat that one real quick. Way over there, that's it. That was excellent, so that's gonna be our third and final uh, key that we need. So we can cover a lot of that up. Jump through here. And I guess I should be throwing my little buddy around. I guess he doesn't really ink too much though, so maybe not worth worrying about too much. But if that's gonna up our rank, it's worth focusing on occasionally. Um, the first vault is open for business. And the second vault, second vault open. And don't forget the third, right here. That, was, that vault was the last one. All that's left is the straight shot along the rail. Okay, there we go, and that'll be our first level done. Great work, Agent 3, if you can keep this up. Well, I'll turn a map out in no time. So we got our mission complete, and what did we unlock for that? Because it wasn't a zap fish. I'm not sure. But there we go, mission one complete. We get 700 power eggs for that. And there's still plenty more levels to tackle just in this area alone, so I'm sure we'll be keeping busy. Okay, here we are. Get to know Alterna, your only choice completed. So here we are back at Future Utopia Island, and we got Callie over here. Hi, Callie. Sorry for spraying ya. Can I talk to you? Here you go. Solo albums are okay, but don't you think collabs are more fun? I definitely agree. And that makes me think, I wonder if we'll be seeing Pearl and Marina in this game at all. I, I feel like they can't be ditched in this one, right? All right then, so uh, we have something going on in our menu you know, over here in the archive. So if I switch over, we have the sunken scrolls and the alternal logs. So we haven't found any sunken scrolls just yet, but hopefully I haven't missed any. And then in the alternal logs, the fall of humanity is being analyzed at the moment. I can't really read any of that. It's all encrypted or something. So maybe as we keep playing, that'll be deciphered in a way. But for right now, I wanna go back to this level or at least see it right here. And I'm just sort of curious. It doesn't say I'm missing any kind of uh, collectible or anything. Let's try this out. I do not have enough eggs for it, so never mind. Um, what about that one over there? That one only requires 600, so. Target fuzzball, toss it over, and we're good to go. There we go. Oh, and that actually cleared up a lot of our rank. Um, I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. Yeah, we got something right over here. It's our first sunken sea scroll. Awesome. Visit a sparkling city of chaos, the hottest place in the Splatlands, Anarchy Avenue. Walk it, feel it, live it. Special collection. Walk it, walk the Splatsville walk, page 54. So there we go. That's gonna be page three of our sunken sea scrolls. A bunch of advertisements, I think for Splatoon's Platoon 2's in Copolis. Hard to tell though. One upgrade point as well. Actually several, we're up to rank three now. I don't know how to use this, but uh, we have a lot of levels waiting around. And I guess I'll just go for this next one, right up here. Yes, let's go. This is gonna be octopods at rest 10 to flip out, remain in one piece and reach the goal. So this is where things look similar to the Octo expansion where you can complete levels several times with different weapons. I don't know if that's something you guys wanna see, um, in the series, me replaying through the same level. So we'll just do one weapon per run, at least for right now. Maybe we can always go back and recomplete them. Um, but Octopods at Rest tend to flip out. We can either do the Hero Gear, gear uh, Splat Brella, Splat Bomb, or Heavy Spotling Burst Bomb. Intro rec recommending the Hero Gear, so I think that's what I'll keep with. And we're good to get started. All right, I'm going in. No fee for this one. So I'm guessing, yeah, there'll be fees later on. And look, there's an Octopod way over there. Uh, careful, don't charge if you get too close. Luckily, we can just launch it over. 
but yeah, I guess later on there might be fees for completing levels, so we'll have to make sure we're doing well so that we can afford it and we actually get some power eggs out of it. Ow, that one hurt. Okay, gotta be careful of that. Uh, but for right now, I do see some more coming up. I'm trying to cover enough ink that if I need to, I can just, you know, do our splat slam or whatever it's called. See, there's a lot going on up here. Let me grab that really quickly. And I think, right there, does that work? Small fry, can you please grab it? Oh, maybe you can't. I don't know if, if small fry can actually pick things up or not. So maybe not. If we're out here, I tell R to peek around the corner so I don't get ambushed. All right then. Ow, that, yeah, that didn't turn out so well. I gotta be careful that there goes my armor. So I need to be able to be aware of what's waiting around the corner. Um, because unfortunately, that's sort of the one downside with small fries. It's not really a very offensive weapon. It's just there for collecting things and getting everything the sun. So maybe not always the best, but oh gosh, we gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. They all exploded each other though. So worked out one way or another. Uh oh. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh gosh. Ah! That wasn't good. Woo! Wasn't expecting that. Me neither. Okay, so we gotta be careful for big ones, those guys, whatever they're called. We're all charged up though, so if we do run into problems again, we should be okay. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna climb up this way and grab our key. So with that, I think yeah, we're gonna go this way. There you go. Now it's just a quick hop down and you can go unlock that fog. That's what I want to do. We'll also get a little pod of uh, power eggs. And got a couple of boxes to open up. Final checkpoint, so we're coming up on the end already. I don't think I've missed too much. I don't know if this game is going to be similar to others where there are going to be collectibles. Okay, I really chose a bad time with that. Will there be other collectibles to find throughout the levels, or if maybe they'll only be found in the overworld? I hope it's the latter, because that always makes it less stressful to get through the levels, but we'll have to wait and see. For right now, I wanna hop up here, careful. If I know anything about an agent, or about being an agent, it's at an open space. It usually means trouble. Oh, and here they come. Okay, let's slam on him, boom. It wasn't all of them, but most of them. I can hit the rest of them here. There we go. I've got one last guy, gotcha. Pretty cool. So that's already got us up to 300 power eggs and we're not even done the level. So let's hit that. Oh no. Almost there, but what's that lurking in that room? It's another big guy. Come on, come on, come on. The problem is I'm trying to hit him, but I, I don't quite got the range. Oh no. I don't know if it's actually possible to defeat them or will they always self-destruct. Either way, not gonna worry about it too much. We still have tons of this to destroy. And I think that's gonna be about it. No secrets back here. Once again, just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. But there we go. That's gonna be another level done. Boom. So, so far the levels are going by pretty quick at the least. Mission complete. Octopods at rest tend to flip out. So that's 910 of the power eggs. Very cool. Ooh. So that's a lot more orbs. We should be able to go back and figure out some other areas. And if we really needed more power eggs, we could always um, replay a few levels. I didn't mean to do that. But if we take a look at the menu now, our archive, right? What else do we have? More alternal logs. But it's still, I don't know why it's saying that there's more stuff here when I still can't read it. But maybe, oh yeah, it is sort of getting deciphered a little. So I think that as we complete this area, maybe we'll just have more context on what's going on. So let's toss this over. 900 power eggs for this one. So hopefully there's a level up here. Um, we get one upgrade point for that. That's good. And what is this? It's some kind of secret. It's gonna be more power eggs. All right, I'll take it. That's a plus 100 right there. So we still have 400 of them. And there is a level up this way. So I think, yeah, we'll break this open for another 100. And what is this thing? Oh, it's like one of those big Easter Island kind of heads. It has a price tag on it. Huh. Interesting. Doesn't seem like there's much I can do with it, but just uncovering things does give me a higher rank. I don't know how to spend my rankings. Guess we'll figure it out as we go along. Oh wait, right here, right? Oh no, this I need the, uh, whatever they're called. Um, but for right now, wait a minute before we do that, let's blast this one open. 
and we'll get something new. You got a decoration. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal and use it to decorate your locker. Oh yeah, there's lockers in this game. I haven't even seen any of that, so I'm so excited. Um, But let's try out our next level over here. Proceed with caution, caution Agent 3. The strings, the thing. Reach the goal using the tri-stringer. Ooh, so this is a brand new weapon in Splatoon 3 that I tried a little bit out on the Splatfest world premiere and I was awful with. So having string man levels can be really useful. It can teach us a little bit. Uh, in this mission, you will master the eccentricities of the tri-stringer to reach the goal. So the tri-stringer curling bomb combo, let's give it a try. So 20 is the cost here. What if I run out of money? Do I just have to go back and try something else? I guess so. Reach the goal using the tri-stringer. Ooh, a new weapon. Manuel says if you shoot it while jumping, the ink will come out vertically. Worth a shot. Whoa, see, I didn't even know that. So playing the story mode can really help figuring out different kind of weapons and what they do. So, oh, I see. So if I don't hold it down for as long, it has a wider spread. Whoa, 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 watch it. Gotcha, I understand how this works. I didn't know any of that before, so that's really cool. That is super duper interesting. So if I want to, um, I guess I'm supposed to, got a little bit. Okay, uh, could have been better, could have been worse. Gotcha. So we're figuring it out as we go along. This is exciting now. Uh, oh yeah, hit CR while jumping to shoot vertically. Oops, sorry, I'm a page behind. <laughs> we got it, we got it. So horizontal or vertical, it's always up to you. Sounds good to me. Um, I do see, oh, these three. Dude, the X's aren't really showing up there, that's weird. I think I'm just gonna have to be more specific with this one. Because if we charge it up, it, it makes less of a spread. Got it. Okay. I'm trying to look around to make sure we didn't miss anything. It doesn't look like we have, so I'm good to continue. But there are some people firing at me from over here, it looks like. So, ready and gotcha. And you. And you. Nice. So I feel like I already know a lot more about how this weapon works, which is super exciting. Yeah, I don't think, wait a minute, did we miss stuff? No, those are just boxes, so I don't think they had anything for us. All right, let's jump over. Whoa, what about that? I'm not quite sure, do I just shoot that? Um, you can also charge, this thing holds the R to try it out. Yep, I got it. Um, charge shots make a big mess. Yeah, if we do a fully charged shot, as you can see, it leaves these things which explode, which is pretty cool. And over here we got some armor that I'm definitely gonna need, I think, in a moment, because we're going against more right over here. Hold on, it's full charge, boom. Got it, that was pretty good, but I need another one. Gotcha, gotcha, and then you over here. Not too bad. All right, we're figuring it out, but there's more of them waiting for us. Gotcha. Okay, one last guy over here. He's looking for me. <laughs> we sort of lost each other for a moment. Is that, yep, that's a launch pad over there. So after I make sure we haven't missed anything, I'm going to go to the launch pad. So yeah, let's go over here, just like that. And we're launching. The atmosphere here is so cool. These are some interesting shapes we're just surrounded by. And that is gonna be some more armor that I actually don't need. I still have my old armor, right? Or oh, maybe I don't. All right, let's, oh, they're shooting at each other? Why are they doing that? I think that they're confused. Whoa, that guy almost fell off too. There we go, that was a full charge shot. Gotcha. We're doing, really good right now. Oh, but here comes another ready. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, when he shoots, he sort of gets pushed to the side. Ha, take that. So we're doing really good now. Gonna hop up this way. Oh, oh, I see what I do for these guys. I need to hit that and then have it explode behind them. So when it's on the way down, oh, I didn't charge it up all the way, I guess. Got it, that was so cool, you're rocking. Split, or Agent 3, that's pretty cool. Free and clear, splat that goal. I'm going for it. Oh, is it done? Wait. There we go, much better. Mission complete, that was a super fun one. I love that new weapon now a lot more than I did the first time I tried it. So yeah, once you learn how to use it, it makes it much better, right? So yeah, with our game saved here, we can move back to uh, Alterna and try the next level. Okay, so we're back, and ooh, there's a couple things going on around here that I definitely wanna try to figure out. For right now, that's some more done. What was that thing on the top right? I guess it cost 20 to enter, that's what that little symbol is saying. So it looks like we did a good job clearing everything out on that side, but I am a bit curious, what's going on with this balloon over here? If I splat this, it's just gonna go over here. So 
this might be something, yeah, that's easier to do once I have everything cleared out. Don't be shy with your ink, spot everywhere. Fill up your gauge and you'll get upgrade points. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Um, Does he want me to go up here? Yeah, he does. So he's gonna point out whenever there's collectibles, which is great. And what do we get this time? You got a gold record. The tunes around here will sound a little cooler now. Keep an ear out, I would love to. That is awesome. So we have different things like this to clear out too. And even if that doesn't unlock anything for me, it's still good to get. So let's try uh, this one right here. And let's see, is there anything over there? Not at the moment, but we gotta keep inking everything because we get a higher and higher ranking for that, which we can eventually, I think, use for uh, upgrading our stuff. It's, it's sort of, there's another upgrade point. I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. Oh, right there, I didn't even see that one. Good eye. Okay, and there we go, extra power eggs. Power eggs, nice, you can't have too many. Okay, so I haven't gotten this one. It's pretty affordable compared to what we currently have, so might as well clear it out a little bit. Um, oh, and here we go, this is another thing for our locker. You got a decoration, you can pick up it up at the lobby terminal. Doesn't tell us what it is at the moment, but it looks like some kind of tank or something. Uh, let's open that one up, because it's really cheap. This is so much fun to explore. Uh, hey, your little buddy found something, again? Oh, how am I missing these? You are so good at that. There we go. Maybe they only pop up after you do certain things though, maybe. I don't know, because I feel like I would have seen that one. But this might be my favorite iteration of the Overworld and Splatoon yet. This is just really cool. So I don't have enough for that one, but that leads us perfectly to our next level right over here. What caused the Big Bang? You, destroy all the targets in one shot. Ooh, this sounds like fun. And this one requires 50 to even try it. So that's where things can get complicated again. But, ooh, in this mission, we will test your optimism during a formidable task. Break every target simultaneously. So we have either the Elite 4K or the Elite 4K scope. I'm gonna try this one for now, uh, because this seems like the easier option of the two, according to the little try this function. Let's give it a try. I like how we get like air conditioned or something. Oh, I see, I see. Um, how are you supposed to break all those targets with a single shot? I need to hit, oh, that guy right there. So I need to wait for the X to pop up on it. Ah, oh, it didn't quite work. Mission failed, did not break all the targets. Darn, so do I have to repay? I don't, I don't. That's good. Ah, oh, darn, I just barely missed. I think I need to shoot a little higher. But on the top left, you can see I have a maximum amount of lives. So this is really tricky. I got it, there it is. Mission complete, so some of them are short and sweet like that one, but really tricky to pull off. There we go, so that was our first time bonus. We get a ton of power eggs for that one. Good to know that sometimes they play out that way. It's interesting how this story mode sort of combines the different elements and the structure of all this previous Splatoon games, especially adding some of the stuff that we had from Octo Expansion. So there we go, we get that. 1400 power eggs is quite the reward. I'm gonna small, or throw small fry right over there. That'll be pretty good. I wanna get up this way as much as we can, but if we take a look at our menu, our archive is still making more progress. Not quite done yet. But look at this, we get ourselves another little prize. This is gonna be our first Sardinium. You can use that to upgrade your hero gear. Press X and open the upgrade menu. So this is exactly what I've been looking for, very exciting. Um, so I think we have to start from over here maybe? As you can see, there's different things I can buy. Um, but I have 10 out of 10 for my thing. So, uh, small fry HP up increases small fry's overall health. Uh, special charge up increases the rate at which the special gauge fills. And then there's some things over here, like ink tank capacity up, better hero shot, and ink resistance up. Lots of different things to choose from. What if I just chose something simple, though, like a special charge up, we'll unlock this one with our Sardinium. Excellent. Oh, that opens up this whole line. So now that I've gotten the Sardinium upgrade, I can buy both of these. So boom, special charge up. I'm gonna get that one upgraded. And then up here, I wanna do the same thing. Improve small fry's overall health. Very cool. So if we want to improve some more, we'll have to go and get more Sardinium. So I'm looking all over for that. We're gonna be focusing on, of course, cleaning up 
uh, New Utopia Island or whatever it was called, Future Utopia Island, I think. There we go. Anything cool around here, buddy? Looks like we do have this right here. This is gonna be another golden record. So the tunes around here will sound a little cooler now again. I like how the, the music is gonna come alive as we're exploring everything. Oh, I'm too low on eggs for this one, it means 900. Is there anything I can afford? Cause there's a couple of spots over here, but there's also a whole level to jump into, so maybe I'll trouble myself with this instead. What do we got? Proceed with Caution Agent 3, we have Relic Restoration. Cover as much as you can with ink. Let's go for it. So this one seems a bit different. This mission will introduce you to the hobby of extreme face painting. Huh. Explosher Burst Bomb is our only weapon choice for this one. So the Explosher is like a slosher that explodes. Wow. Well then, let's go in here, pay our 30 power eggs, and get started. Cover as much as you can with ink. I would love to. Oh, yeah. So there's the end of the level, and I thought Callie had a big head. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't even see that. So if we go up this way, I guess you're just supposed to ink it up. Don't ask questions. Oh, okay. I really guess it is face painting, huh? This is so cool. Okay, so I will cover up as much as I can here, but that's where we might want to... Uh, you have inked in excess of 20% of all surface area. Perhaps some platforms will help with the rats. Yep, I'm working on that, don't worry. Whoa, whoa, that's great. So I'll definitely hop on there soon. I feel like an artist at the moment, even if we're just, you know, coloring it. Pretty cool. I think right now, I don't wanna go too crazy because there's still, you know, stuff down here I need to cover up. But this is great. <laughs> We're making some good progress. I need to fill up though, all the way to the top. I'll, I'll throw one of those out. Uh, I'd say you're about halfway there, keep it up. And I don't know if there's a timer or anything. <laughs> this is a very chill mission, I like it. All right, let's not waste too much. Go. I'm gonna make sure every inch of this is covered though. Oh no, full on ink again. See a little piece right there. Huh. Okay, I don't think I can get that part, but I think we've got the perimeter of the base. So we are good to hop up here. And let's see, I, I can see a lot of spots over here that we need to cover up. So fill up on ink where I can and keep it going. All right, can I make this jump? Yes, I can, that was a close one. It's funny that obviously Small Fry doesn't have much of a use here, but I sort of missed them already. Uh, keep it up, cover as much as you can with ink. Uh, who taught Agent 3 to ink this well? Surely it wasn't Agent 1. Wow, okay, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, that's what I said, what was that supposed to mean? Okay, so, yeah, let's cover this up. And then I'm going to jump over and see what else we could do. Because there is a lot going on. Jump over one more time. And I think we got this. I think this might be the last little bit of it. Yeah, we did it. Hey, nice work, really good coverage. And I guess I could have just, you know, climbed up it a little bit, which is pretty cool. Oh no, I can't get up any higher. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. We're fine. Hey, oh, look at this, free stuff. <laughs> you aren't afraid of heights, are you, Angel 3? I guess not. I mean, if we can get some free stuff out of it, definitely not. So let's jump over and complete this level. That was probably the most relaxing one so far. Most of these I wasn't expected to be relaxing at all, but mission complete. Product restoration, cover as much as you can with ink, is totally finished. That was really fun. See, while there's a lot of levels to explore, some of them are really simple, some of them are really intricate, so we'll be exploring each one in each island either way. Relic restoration complete. There we go. 1,200 more now, so you know it's the little buddy. Oh, hold on, maybe we don't. <laughs> Try that again. I'm not do doing very good with this. Hold on, come back, this way. There we go, so 500 here. And ooh, we get ourselves another locker decoration. Ooh, it's a speaker, I like it. And we get another upgrade point, which I don't have enough sardinium to upgrade the next line, but as soon as I do, we'll get that figured out. Right now though, clearing out this little area is gonna give me not too much, just a little bit of extra space to get around. Which, as long as I can clear up access to the next level, that's what I really need to focus on, which at the very least, 
think there's a level over there I can reach. It doesn't really tell me. Oh, actually, I've not even done that level yet, so. Yeah, there's a lot to do here. So maybe I should focus on the golden ones because you can see some of the kettles are just sort of a normal gray metal color, but some of them are golden. So maybe those are the ones we actually need to focus on the complete levels and like move forward with the story. So let's try this one out. Uh, this is gonna be splat you on the flip side, out with the Octarians and reach the goal. Let's give it a try. So yeah, this one, totally new, haven't played it yet. Just like all the other ones, you know? <laughs> so let's try it out. Uh, this mission will test your reaction time with a series of lively, life-threatening surprises. So we'll keep with the whatever's recommended, I think for now, so Hero Gear, especially since we're sort of still warming up to the game. I haven't played too much Splatoon between, you know, Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. I haven't been able to keep up with the games too much, so. We need to outwit those Octarians. What if instead of outwitting them, I just outfight them? Oh no, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> so I guess the idea was that, um, gah! They are pretty witty so far. There we go. We've done it before, but we can sort of make them attack each other. But what if I throw Small Fry over, and then I blast you a little bit, but they are really trying to sneak up on me. There we go, there we go. Thank you, Small Fry. That was great, good job, buddy. Um, He's so happy about it. There we go, this way. And, ooh, I hate it when they jump out like that. Keep your eyes peeled more in, for more in the next area. Like this guy, got him. They're gonna have to look out for me too. Gonna have the quick reactions, the sneaky moves. We're gonna be quite the problem. Okay, so that and this. So what do we got with this one? Whoa, ooh, a Trizuka. Press R when you're ready to use it, then fire away with CR. Okay, so obviously it's what we got before. Now we got it again. Lots of fun. Oh, that's all I got for that one. That's okay though. I can just sort of finish them off manually, or maybe I can't. Here, let's go back, can I? Oh no, I'm trapped in here. Guess I should've saved it. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, keep it moving, because I'm in trouble if I don't. Oh no, because their shots are pretty accurate. Wow, you cleared that room like a boss, thank you. Okay, that was really, really good. We've made the checkpoint, there's nobody behind me. Now you know it's coming, right? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, gotcha. Toss my little buddy up. That's always such a good move. But they still have more shots coming out. I just need to clear it out as much as I can. See the goal, you're almost there, but don't let your guard down just yet. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, let's make you fall down. Toss my small fry, because it does a really good job at distracting them. So incorporating that into our strategy seems to be the best bet. Gotcha. All right, there we go. Oh no, small fry got taken out, I'm sorry. Where'd he go? Okay, he's back, he's back. Uh, so yeah, with that done, we complete another stage. Mission complete, that one was definitely tough. So, I, I love all the cool poses we have when we complete a level. Okay, so we're back out here. Get 900 now added to our total. So I definitely want to sort of clear out at least enough space so I can do this balloon thing. Hi, Kelly. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? And there is another Sardinian. So I will upgrade in just a moment, but before I do, I wanna head up here again. Yeah, I can, I can splat this thing. And this also gives us a good look at things. You can see there's plenty of levels still to tackle over that way. So we'll do what we can. But in the meantime, there's plenty more of these heads too. Interesting. That's gonna clear out a ton for us. I might wanna check behind it first, because what do you know? There's a little secret to find. And that's gonna give us a bunch more, which is good, because that cost 100, still can't, oh no, I do, I do, 152 at the moment, so toss that over. Uh, there we go. So I'm out of them at this point. Ooh, what is this? This is a ticket, you got a food ticket. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal and redeem it for something yummy. That sounds like fun. I think that those will give us staff boosts for certain amounts of time while we're playing online, so those are always good to make the most of, but for right now, huh. I think I got enough of this area cleared out that I should be able to backtrack over here and get this. So we'll try this little balloon thing. Usually these unlock something. Um, I gotta get up there fast. Oh boy. Yeah, cause I can't reach it from here. So I need to go, go, and then go. Come on, before I run out of time. One more, one more. Got it. Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, this one's not so bad. It's just two of them. It's a whole course we gotta go through. There we go. Oh, be sure to pick that up. It is going to be another sunken sea scroll, and this one's actually the first one. 
Gator and Gompolis and the Splatlands have wildly different methods of serving up clam mochi. Gompolis style means a clam wrapped in mochi, but Splatlanders wrap the mochi with clams. <laughs> okay. They also sprinkle on sesame seeds and top it with hot sauce. Mmm, it's Splatsville's clam to fame. <laughs> Very cool. So we're still looking for the second uh, Octo, not Octo Scroll. Um, why, why did I immediately forget their names? Uh, the uh, Sunken Scrolls. But hey, learning more about the game and the lore and everything is always super duper fun. I think we've done a great job of finding everything up until this point, but as you can see, there's still stuff hanging out like way up there. For right now though, having hopped into this level, this is going to be uh, doors, 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 and more doors. Find all the keys and reach the goal. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are. In this mission, you will hone your hide and seek skills by hunting for hidden keys. Okay, well, I love looking around for collectibles, so I think we'll have a good time. Okay, find all the keys and reach the goal. So I'm not seeing too much around here, but I do see some Octarians ready and waiting for me. So I gotta be careful of that. You're not alone, keep your eyes open. You definitely am. Ooh, like that, that right up there. Aha, key, but I can't quite get it from here, maybe? Nah, looks like small if I can't get it. So we'll have to find a way over. And maybe I can, yeah, just go up like this. No problem. Um, you wanna come back over to me, buddy? There we go. I can grab that, and we're good to go back. Huh. Whoa, I did not see you. That could have been dangerous. So I need to use that key to open this spot so it can continue forward. How did that one not expect me? I'm not really sure, but we can get a checkpoint. It looks like there's some stuff we can already see ahead of us. There's another one all locked up. Huh. Oh, I see, so I could pop down there. I might do that in a moment, but for right now we get some extra stuff. Oh, now I've got a nice view of the goal, but not a way to get there. So I'm going to go down, break this open and get another key. But how do I get back up from here? Oh, I can just do a bit of that, so. Got it. And I guess I'll open up this one. Gotta be ready for you. Got it. And got it. Very good. Don't have a key for that one just yet. There's not too much more I can do besides with this switch. I'm trying to be careful with everything, but it looks like there's no enemies popping out of there. Oh no, this guy! Oh, we got a reef slider. Aim in the direction of your enemies and press R to peel out. This is fun. Whoa! Ah, I did it a little too soon. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> but that's okay. That was really cool. That's a new one for this game, I'm pretty sure. I think we tried it a little bit in the Splatfest um, for the, the world premiere, so very, very cool. I don't think we got anything, but did we get a key? Oh, no, but I can go up here, so we're fine. I'm gonna jump up like that. And then over here, what, what else do we got going on? I could plop down. But maybe first I should get this checkpoint and explore around a little bit more. Not quite sure, because there's obviously, yeah, something over here I can grab. Huge jump over, a little scary, and that's gonna be another key for us. But, is there any need to jump down that way? I don't think so. Keys, keys, and more keys. Yeah, I think we're good just checking things out here. Okay, jumping across again. I wanna check out this little drop down here. Because there's clearly something. Uh-oh, whoa, a secret floor. As inconvenient as it is cool. Is there anything in there? Once again, oh, you can see the gold from here. And my house, just kidding, about the house. Okay, got it. And I guess we'll just hit this thing for now. Yeah, that'll lower that so we can make a huge jump over, whoa! Gotta be careful, there's nothing but water down there. But a switch to hit, oh gosh, this is a little scary. I wanna try to hit those switches. Come on, got it. Because with that, as you can see, you can open this one up. That's cool. That gave me a bunch of extra power eggs and another checkpoint. Oh, I wonder if I could just get to the, the end from here. Not quite all the way, but I don't think, yeah, I never did that. I don't know if I had the opportunity to, to be honest with you. So that might be something we'll have to figure out, but I might need to loop around for the time being. I don't have any more keys to open this one up, do I? No, I don't. But that's how I'm gonna get to the end of the level, is uh, getting another key, opening that up, and then going back over. For now, though, we're heading back up this way. Can I get there? Nice. And let's try everything out this way, then. So, there was a guy... Oh, I don't know if I can do anything over here. 
yeah. So I'll have to go back through that secret floor and just take him on. Got it. So we'll jump down. We know what we're doing from here. Pretty obvious, but dodging this guy might not be the easiest thing. These enemies are typically pretty tough. Whoa. So maybe I should yeah jump up and over or something crazy. And then I can distract you with small fry. Run over really quickly. Go, 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 go. I'm sorry, small fry, but it'll be worth it. Boom, gotcha. That's gonna be, what, no, another key? I'm shocked. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't think I missed too much besides this one box, which is gonna have armor. Didn't even need it. So yeah, I think this is gonna be our last key that we need. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to find around here. So yeah, we'll hop down to this area. Oh no, wait. I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, we're, we're fine, we can just go back up. Yeah, let's go over here, open that one up. Get a couple more power eggs and we are good to go. Hit this switch and that'll open our way to the end. So yeah, a little bit of a puzzle. But we figured it out, no problem. Yes, that's the key to the re to reaching the goal. Sorry, I'm just a little keyed up. All right, well there we go. Another level finish. And with flying colors, mission complete. I'm definitely getting the hang of using small fry to help us sort of problem solve throughout the levels. It's really fun. Okay, we're back. Doors, 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 completed. And let's talk to uh, Callie hanging out back over this way. I haven't seen Marie too much. Agent two says she can look at spreadsheets all day and not get a headache. It's like a superpower. Wow, whoever made these statues must have been huge. Or maybe it was just a lot of people working hard together. So I do not have enough eggs to break this open, but that looks like it leads to the next island. So not really what I'm focused on at the moment then, because we got plenty to focus on here. So if we take a look at our, our at our archives, we do have more alternal logs unlocked, but more than that, our hero gear, we can open up another slot. And then there's also stuff to the side that doesn't need unlocking that we have enough points for. Things like small fry quick respawn, reduce the small fry's respawn time. I mean, I might as well, if I can. Can I not? Oh, wait, I guess not. Maybe I have to unlock this stuff first. So I have a, um, I always forget what they're called for some reason. <laughs> Uh, but we we had one, we unlocked it. We can do ink resistance up, which improves mobility when walking through enemy ink. Give me that. Very cool. Down this way, we have better hero shot, increases the hero shot's rate of fire, which we're using this weapon a lot, so definitely worth investing in. And then lastly, right down uh, this way, we have ink tank capacity up, increase your ink tank's, tank, ink tank's capacity. Let's get that upgrade. Thank you very much. Okay, so I don't have any more of these, so <laughs> I will have to come back once we do. In the meantime, what can I uncover around here? So I'm having a lot of fun just exploring around here a lot of the time. Because like these levels, you can see I've already completed, but there's some stuff over here I just didn't clear out. So let's try that for 900, that's actually really expensive. Uh, Come back, I missed. Got it. What will this be? Oh, and there's a balloon overhead? I got an upgrade point, but is it anything more than that? I guess not. It will be good just to run around and clear things out because that does give us more upgrade point points. So yeah, run around. And maybe I missed any some kind of secret somewhere around too, so let's look around for that really quickly. And maybe I could catch up with you guys. How are you doing? Quick update, I just overheard the captain say, wow, there's a lot going on in the new Squid Peaks Splatoon. I feel like we've heard that one, so maybe they don't have too much new to say. Oh, can I get onto this? Nah, I can't. That would've been cool. Okay, so maybe not worth exploring every inch of this just in case there's not actually any collectibles, but I was just making sure because it would stink to move on from this and realize, oh gosh, I missed a bunch of stuff, you know? Oh wait, you look like you're about to find something. I don't know. Usually they they swim around when they, when they found something, but I guess not this time. Can we go up the staircase? We can't, aw. Uh, very cool area either way, and we are getting more points for this, so. Oh, it's way over there. Okay, gotcha. So I will get back up there, just like this, and we'll check that one out. Because this is where we found one of the records just a moment ago. Where does it go? It goes all the way over here. 900, I can't afford that one. <laughs> okay, we need to just go do a level then. Which one have we not completed yet? I think that there's one yeah, right down this way that we can finish up, and that should give us enough points to continue exploring. So let's give it a try. Uh, zip, splat, and jump. Zip cast your way to the goal. Let's try it out. It does cost 30 to get started, but we have that. 
And I don't think we're at like a level of difficulty in the game where it's gonna stop us from, you know, really proceeding just yet. Stretch grab and cling your way to the goal by mastering the use of the zip caster. Whoa, this is new, the zip caster splatter shot. We get 1200 for winning this one. Okay, let's give it a try. Whoa. So, zip cast your way to the goal. Uh, superhero time, aim and stretch. Then that'll sling you off. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is sort of like a new ability. Uh-oh, um, press B for a heroic leap. So even if we, whoa, that's awesome. Even if we try to go to places that aren't typically splattable, the amazing Agent 3. This is so much fun. So boom, gotcha, splatacular. And I'll get up this way, break that stuff open. This is so cool, what an addition. So let's get across like that. Whoa! Oh man, so maybe I could do that and then, wait, okay, I guess I was supposed to, oh no, oh no, try that again. Gotcha. And then if I could, how does that work? Why is that, okay, I'm a little confused about what I'm supposed to do there exactly. <laughs> Let me try that again. Gotcha, I was just supposed to jump on them and shoot them that way. I thought it wanted me to do this to them, but I guess not. Uh, so it looks like we probably wanna run up here a little bit farther, come on, come on. Got it, whoa, boom, that was huge. Incredible, I could do these all day. All right, so, got it, sort of. That time it didn't really explode, but we made it through. Uh, oh, this is where things get crazy. Looks like he can use his pillars to work your way up super style. So we'll jump off that. Oh man, uh, I don't know if I need to charge it. It's almost like a Spider-Man kind of thing. It's so cool. So I sort of messed it up though. We're gonna jump back over here. So I thought I had to charge it a little. It doesn't actually look like I do. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, I missed. Ah, oh, darn, that one's tough. Try it again, try it again. This time we got it, ready? Boom. And we can hold on to this. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh my gosh. So if we can hold on to it, Okay, I see, I thought we would jump off right away. I'm running all sorts about how to work this, which is what the story mode levels are for. Uh, wow, are you an actual superhero? It sure feels like it. These pillars go up and up and up. Let's see, where exactly are we trying to get to with these? It looks like right now, we can go over here, up that way, and then jump on top of it. Same thing over this way. Don't be afraid to hang out. Okay, so yeah, I probably wanna hop here, jump off, and grab some extra free points, because that's always good to have. I did see a couple more we can get over there too. For right now, I'm just gonna hop up here. Just get a better view on everything. It doesn't look like I'm missing much. Can't quite get over there though. Uh, what if I jump for it? Oh, wait, oh, it could've worked, it could've worked. Okay, go up here like this, and then boom, get it like that. Very cool. Um, you're pretty high up, aren't you afraid of heights? Didn't we already cover that? I don't think I am. Every superhero needs a relatable weakness, ain't you want? <laughs> okay, so. What's going on up this way? I mean, there's a way to get over here, but as you can see, there actually isn't much waiting for me. So I think what would be cool is if I get over here and then grab all these points. There we go, easy points. So I think that's everything around this way. So if I want to, I can just climb up and then maybe over to that one. Yep, oh no, we I can't grab onto a surface like that. Whoops, <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I got all that. Now I can go through this way. Much better, much better. So I got everything I needed there. We can just move forward like this, hop through all that, and now we're really moving. Is there anything from the side or anything like that I need to worry about? I don't think so. Uh, that's the goal, yep, right up ahead. Uh, but wait, our hero's pack is blocked by Vilda's Octo Sniper. I think I can get them. Ready, just like, oh, I can't slam directly into them. Gotcha. So I probably wanna jump over like this and then jump over like that. Boom, wait, gotcha. It looks like you're directing, directly bumping into them doesn't do too much. Uh, not for the big fish. I guess just gotta get up there. Uh, or the big finish, that's so not the big fish. Uh, so we can grab onto it, just like that. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Mission complete, very fun little power up there. I hope that we can try that out a bit more later in the game. Okay, we're back. We got a bunch of points for that one. Okay, so with that done, what else do we gotta do around here? It looks like 
There's a little path to the side I might be able to clear out if I use this 600 for this one. And if we if you look up here, look what we got, a little collectible. This one is gonna be um, another sunken sea scroll. Long ago, our splatted lands were almost washed away by a great flood. All was presumed lost until three lights appeared and united to consume the disaster. Thankful for their salvation, the townsfolk threw a festival with three portable shrines as a tribute. Whoa, so that's some interesting lore for sure. I do see another one right down there. And we got another upgrade point for all of that. And this one only costs 100, quite affordable if I can actually hit it. There we go. I think that's actually just to get back up, but let's see what this is. Oh, it's just gonna be more points. All right, cool. So I gained what I lost there. <laughs> um, was there something down here? Oh, there was. How'd I miss this? There we go, we got a decoration. This one's gonna just be a barrel. Nothing too exciting. But hey, more upgrade points for us too, so we're doing a great job with everything. And I think there's gotta be a couple more levels to complete around here. Did I miss? Yeah, there's that one up there. But can I do this? Can I afford this yet? I don't think so. Uh, 1500 is really pricey, so yeah, not quite. I'm gonna go over to that next level though, which might be the last one I need to do. I think that might be the last level. I don't see any others. So yeah, that one. Oh, and then there's that one. So there's a few more to get through. I will get up this way, and that should be my way to that level though. So I'll get this. I haven't done this one now. Ooh. And that's gonna cut that huge chunk. Is there anything down here to grab though? Because now I'm done at 25 points, it isn't much. But there's no collectible, no secret for that. Wow, okay, a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Do you see anything, little buddy? Okay, so let's hope, oh, there's a secret that I missed. Right next to the level itself, this is gonna be, ooh, just some extra points, which is good. I might need them for this. Let's try it. Deadly Dance Hall Jump Jump. Survive for one minute. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Uh, this mission will test your stress management skills. Please try to survive for 60 seconds. No weapons at all. Uh-oh, this might be tough. Luckily, we'll have quite a few tries, because it's only 10. So survive for one minute. I'll do what I can, but with no ink spreading whatsoever. Uh-oh, gotta jump over these to dodge. Oh, that's so cool. So they just sort of set up these little sound waves. Oh, this is gonna be fun, actually. It might be difficult, sure, but why can't it be both you know, difficult and fun? There we go, so we're already 43 seconds remaining and ticking. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Don't think there'll be any kind of a power eggs. Ooh, the fine, that hurt a little bit. Gotta be careful of that. I don't think I have any armor on at the moment either, so just try to be careful. Ooh, here we go. Ah! Come on, come on. I'm getting greedy with it. So I just gotta be careful, oh man. Come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it. Yeah, staying back here is safer because we can see more of it. Oh man, whoa, this is where my platforming skills, all the Mario games I've played comes to the test. Can I do it? So far, not too bad, I only got hit that one time. Got it, got it, got it. Right there, that was good. One second remaining, they're going crazy on me, we did it. That was fun, I like it. So once again, another mission that was super short, but super fun. Um, I like it, yeah, 2,000 points for that one too. And we're back. So with all these extra points, I gotta be able to do a couple of things with them, right? Uh, first thing I wanna try is breaking this open. I missed it. I don't know why I, I keep missing that. There we go. So what will this do for me? For right now, gives me an upgrade point, which I have so, so many of. Oh, I do see this balloon still hanging out. Yeah, there's still a lot to clear out around here, isn't there? Um, for right now though, I'll grab this. That'll be some more points for me. I see this one, that one's only 300, so pretty affordable. Oh, can we get up these? Not that one. Huh, you got a decoration. It's gonna be one of the big heads. Let's try for that. Oh, I can't quite reach it. So I'll have to wait around for that to sort of swing by. Well, let's see what this is gonna say. As you can see, there's still quite a lot to clear out. There's this one, and then there's that one way out that way. But then we've got it. We've gotten all the fuzzy spots out of the way. So 1,400, I almost have enough. But it looks like I will be a little bit short if I want to clear out every single thing. Um, so I can't imagine the next one's gonna give me a huge ton of points, but we'll see. That's the last level as far as I can tell. 
but I don't actually see a way to get over there. Huh. I don't know if I can. Ooh, this one is sort of destroyed, isn't it? Yeah, oh, okay, this is sort of a separate part. Gotcha. Never mind. We should be good. And there's another collectible. What's it gonna be? Boom. It is gonna be another gold record. Everything is gonna sound even cooler. Which hardly feels possible. How cool everything feels already, but what do we got here? This is gonna be just some extra points in case we need it. But I think we are good to hop into what might be our fast last level on this island. Um, this is going to be become one with your small fry. Work with small fry to reach the goal. Don't mind if I do, I love working with our little buddy. Okay, here we are with the next mission. In this mission, you and your small fry companion will learn the importance of teamwork. Okay, so I guess I just have small fry to team up with me. No weapon or anything. Let's get to it. Work with small fry to reach the gold. Uh-oh, you don't have a weapon, do you, Agent 3? Yes, it's small fry's time to shine. Press R to send your little small fry buddy fry frying. Uh, flying. I meant flying. Well, there we go. Boom, that was a huge explosion. Thank you, you're so adorable. I just love how happy they get. Um, over this way, we'll do this one and switch. Hmm. Oh, no problem. Wait, 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 ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, that was my fault. Let's try that again. You gotta time this just right. Little buddy's doing everything perfect. And then as soon as we're done with you there, we can call you back. After you toss your small bar, you can call it back. Yep, I'm on it already. So I wanna get to that one now. I think I just wanna jump up. Oh no, whoa! Always got pushed off. Wall, wall, look out! Okay, so, actually no, you can keep going. Yeah, we're good, we're good. So now I can sit on this one like a ticking clock and then call you back. Sweet, you made it across. Yeah, with flying colors. Let's do that. Hmm, I see a key, but how do we get to it? A little Ferris wheel. I don't know if there's any prizes down there. I don't think so. And I will jump across, grab it, then land back onto this one. Key status nab. Let's take it to the Vaughn, which I think is gonna be at the top, right? Maybe? No, it's right over there. So is there anything fun up this way? There is! Don't mind if I do. That's gonna be an extra 25 points for us, which doesn't seem like a lot, but every little bit counts. Okay, open for business, and now we have a launch pad. So now we can go this way. Uh, So many balloon fish and ink switches. Yeah, let's get a better look at this one. Some kind of crazy chain reaction. Oh, it's sort of like a puzzle to solve. So what I can do, toss this over, call you back, toss it over here and do the same deal. Almost, got it. I think that'll do it. This is so neat. So these will all explode, making a huge chain reaction. That'll end with it over there. Whoa, so how do we get up that way? Um, it's the key and power egg party. And we're invited. There we go, so it just falls down. That was really cool. So, all right, on to the next one. Oh, we got more of it, huh? This contraption is pretty big too, huh? Let's take a better look. Uh, looks like you're supposed to climb the wall. Hey, I can see the goal. Huh, how do we do this one then? Because like for right now, I can toss you up here. And I guess we can just climb. Yeah, while I'm on this thing, maybe I could do a crazy jump. Oh, okay, they say where they are. That makes sense. I don't know why I thought they'd maybe fall back to where they were or make me fall back or something, but no, we're good with this. I can just jump up onto this thing, get launched up, go through the ring. But there is one more waiting for me. Oh, I sort of want it, I sort of want it. Can I make this jump though? Ah, not quite, not quite. Huh. Okay, well, you know what? If I were to do that and then, no, wait, what are you doing? Oh, I guess I missed. It's my own thought. Did I miss again? Come on, I'm really not good at this. How is that not working? I'll try one more time. There we go. No, I missed it though, darn. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's okay, it's okay. I wanted to get the extra power eggs. I don't know if it's worth all this effort, but <laughs> I'm trying again. We'll get him over here. See, what was with that? I have it aimed up and it just flies over the other direction. Our character just doesn't really throw it correctly sometimes. Okay, so call him back over, toss it right there, and that's how I get it. Not too bad. Uh, and now I can just jump on, and now I can finish the level, which I guess I'll need his help for this one too. There we go. 
Perfect. So that might be the last mission we have to do. Become one with your small fry. Guess we'll see in just a moment. So there we go, we're back and we get a lot of points for that one, 1,200. See, let's take a quick look around. Maybe there is something I missed or something. If I take a look at the menu, we have our map. You can see all these levels we have completed, but I don't know, that doesn't feel right. I don't know what's with the areas that are sort of grayed out or those things I can still clear out with the salmon stuff. I think so. Uh, if we go to our archive, our eternal logs are really clearing out now. So I think I'll, I'll read this when we're definitely done the area, but it looks like it's all decrypted. So that's awesome. Oh, that balloon, it's coming up. I wanna get the balloon. Ready? Oh, I still can't reach it. It's gotta go over here, right? Ah, big jump. Come on, come on, I'm ready for it. Right now, got it. And that was 100 points. Really cool little reward. So I wanna go for this one, 1400. And then I'll clear everything else here. Sort of, I think. There's another good chunk of points. Power eggs, nice. Can't have too many, definitely. So is there anything neat around here? Yep, there's one secret waiting for me right on this side. And that is going to be, of course, another Sardinium that I really needed to upgrade stuff. So let's go back over to our hero gear. And which one do I wanna go for now? I think we'll just make our way down, right? I feel like that makes the most sense. So, oh, I need three now. Uh-oh, they're getting expensive. I could do this one, but I can't because it's not connected to what we got right now, I don't think. Yeah, so I have to save up two more. So, it's good that we're finding them, but not so good I can't do anything with them yet. And that is really fuzzy out there. But, I do see this one, just chilling out. And this will be another Sunken Sea Scroll. This is number four. Live wild, live free. We do whatever we want. This town is a melting pot, so let's stir things up. I'm tired of folks pretending to be cool. I wanna get so fired up that I boil over. That's pretty cool, I love these different outfits and different sayings and stuff, pretty cool. Uh, I've already been down there, so it doesn't look like there's anything extra to find. But still, finding a sunken sea scroll and a sardinium, definitely worth the uh, power eggs we had to put into it. But at this point, if I've gotten everything I can and I still can't get to the next thing, I'm guessing that means I need to replay through levels with other weapons so that we can actually get enough. So I think I was supposed to do this one sooner because I need 1,500. That's actually no big deal. We could definitely go back to some of the older levels and complete them with different weapon variants to get other things done. So here's the first level, which already has just one weapon variant. It doesn't have more than that. So we'll just look around to see what our other options are. What about this one? See, this one has some different ones. So we'll try this out and see if I get some extra points out of it. I don't think I'll be doing all the weapon variants in today's episode. We're just trying to focus on properly completing the areas. We can always go back in later episodes if we wanted to, do the other weapons. But you can see we get a clear reward of 400, which won't quite be enough, but maybe we can find some extras along the way. So let's try the Splat Brawl and Splat Bomb, which I haven't done in a while. But hopefully these will be pretty easy levels to do since I've already technically done them. Um, we just need to re remain in one piece and reach the goal. Oh yeah, because of this stuff. So you'll be earning extra points just by participating in the level. So hopefully enough for 100. And of course, it's a Splatbrella, so I can hold this and then let it rip. But so far, so good. We're handling it quite well. Grab that. Then I need the key from up there, so I need to go around this way. I remember this level pretty well, right? Gotcha. And get rid of these two, and then these guys, which luckily with this Splat Row, we knocked them back really, really easy. Oh, no, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. It's not too bad when I'm not silly about it. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, that was a little crazy. I wasn't expecting that either. Okay, got it, got it, got it. But ink gets used up pretty quickly with the Splatbrella. So I need to make the most of all my shots. There we go. All right, so we can open up this vault, no problem. Grab a couple more, and we're already at nearly 1100. That's what I need, plus the 400 we'll get for completing the level. Should be enough to move over to the next area. So we're doing a great job clearing out this level in record time. Oh, that sent them all flying. That was cool. 
I'm sure if he wanted to do this really fast, you probably don't even need to defeat most of the enemies. You can just move past them. Oh no, you know what? Let's do that. Oh no, wait. There we, it didn't work. Huh. How was it working before? It's not working now? Oh, there it goes. I guess I just didn't wait long enough. Okay, so I'm gonna break that open, hit that switch. Oh no, here we go. Oh, toss, toss the splat bomb, I haven't done that yet. Can I get you though? Almost! Ooh, that was our first time actually defeating them. That was cool. All right, got all those. And I really wanna get all this as much as I can. There we go, so we did it all in one life. Very, very good work. Let's complete that level. So, yeah, some bonus power eggs for that one. New record and everything. So now we should definitely be able to move over to the next area. Oh, look at all these points. So we are at 1582. That is enough to just stroll right down this way and open this up. So toss it over. And this one is definitely a big one. Whoa. Yeah, so what is the deal with this? Hold it right there. What is this? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, wait a minute. It's the new crew. Hey guys. We're not supposed to be anything. But I'll tell you who we are. Say it was Sizzle. I'm Fry. Is this? Oh, wait. We're not supposed to be. What up? Hey, yeah. We are Deep Cut. Huh. I. I love them. Whatever. What do you want anyway? Wait, did you say deep cut? The deep cut from the Anarchy Splatcast thing? Yeah, it's called a day job. You should look into it. Banditing is our real passion. Nothing can stop us. Wait, are they supposed to be our enemies? Hey, to interrupt, Fry, but have you looked around? We've hit the jackpot. Who knew this was here? All this time, treasure was just sitting here under the crater. Now it's ours for the taking. Hey, good eye, Shiver. So are you going to try and stop us or what? Because you totally can't. We're taking all of it ourselves. <laughs> wow, it's like they rehearsed this whole thing. You're total pros. Aw, oh, they don't seem scared. What do you have to do to scare someone these days? Hey, I got a little bit scared. <laughs> I love big man. Not that anyone asked, but I'm over this conversation. But the treasure is ours. I'd wish you luck, but I don't want to. Catch you later. Whoa, and they're gone. We'll see ya. That was a great in in introduction to Deep Cut. So what's going on in this next area over here? We're not gonna be going into it for right now, but I figured there'd be a boss fight or something. Usually most areas end with one, but I guess not this one. We did a great job though exploring everything as far as I can tell. Um. And as you can see, parts unknown, areas of interest. So maybe we'll poke around a little bit more just to make extra sure we found everything because it doesn't look like there's a uh, kettle display on and off. Huh, yeah, it's sort of pointing these out as if there's something to do with them. So I'll poke around a little bit more to make sure extra sure we haven't missed anything. Oh, it looks like he found something. What'd you find, buddy? Uh, I don't know, it's saying, oh, I can throw him under. I didn't realize it works that way. Whoa, okay. So here we go, we get ourselves an extra pack of cards. So we'll definitely have to try table turf battle at some point. That might be its own episode. I'm not sure how involved that is. Okay, so that's good to know that you can find little things under the ground like that. I, did, I didn't realize that that's what he was trying to say. Um, that does make me a little curious, but we toss him into something like this. Anything in there? Not really looking like it. Okay, well I definitely still have to look around then and see what else we can find with our little buddy. Okay, so it seems like, I think I know how this works. On the map, you can see these little green spots. Those are areas of interest, as it says here. Those are areas where our little small fry can find little extra things. Let's see if that's actually the case. He's gonna yeah, dig under here, and he finds something. Uh, took him a moment. Let's see what he gets. It's gonna be even more power eggs. And if we take a look, the green spot is gone. So as long as we can clear out all those green spots, that means we know we have found everything. So there was another one over this way. I believe, yeah, right on this side. So we'll look around here a little bit and see if we can't find another one. 
because whenever we're close to it, you should pop off our backs and go over for us. Uh, there's a lot of spots around here it could be, so really gotta look around for a moment. Not gonna be up there. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. Yeah, right over here? Where was it? I'm not sure. He went off for a moment and then he was done with it. This is not so good. Okay, finally found it again. Where was it? I don't know why I ran past this area a dozen times and he just would not pop out. But now he's finally doing it. Right here? Oh, maybe right up here. There we go. And this should be the last thing in this area as far as I can tell. Come on, come on, what's it gonna be? Am I supposed to help? I guess I am. I don't know. But there we go, this is gonna be more power eggs, which we always need more of. So there we go, the first area of Splatoon 3 properly completed, the future Utopia Island. Next episode, we'll be heading to the second sector, which I don't even know yeah, if we have a name for it just yet. So that's gonna be interesting, but as you can see, not really much more we could do here. We got levels one through 10 fully completed. We could always do them with extra weapons. If you guys ever wanna see that, let me know. But for right now, let's take a look at our final eternal log. Log 001, the fall of humanity. As technology advanced at an exponential pace, so too did prosperity and ultimately conflict. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. In the end, nearly all life on Earth was wiped out. As humans squabbled, natural disasters intensified. Volcanic eruptions leveled cities. The sea rose and began to consume the planet. Humanity experienced a mass extinction event. Soon, the surface of the Earth became a barren wasteland, completely inhospitable to life. Error against the odds computed to be 42,791 to one, some humans survived. Therefore, the planet was only nearly completely inhospitable to life. These survivors found shelter in a vast cavern created by a cataclysmic volcanic eruption. The cavern provided shelter and a massive pool of accumulated seawater provided life. For while humanity was being decimated, marine life flourished. All manner of squid, octopuses, and jellyfish had propagated in the deep. Surviving humans had found a source of sustenance. Whoa, so they were eating off all the sea wildlife. That is so neat. So we're finding deeper knowledge about the background lore to Splatoon. How cool is that? But we have done quite a lot today to complete this first island. We'll be doing the same in the next island right over there. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.